Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this web banner in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our web banner. So first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle 720 by 300. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point then align center horizontally and vertically. I will select the pick tool. I will select this rectangle and we will drag like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will select the rectangle and we will select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on the rectangle. Now we will select the fountain fill. Now we will reduce the size of the fountain fill. Now we will adjust the size, we will make a circle kind of shape with the fountain fill. Now we will set the colors. Now we will change the white color. Now we will select the very lighter shade of this color. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a circle. Now we will drag the circle like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will select both the circles and we will click on the option back minus front. Now we will fill white color in this circle and we will remove the outline. Now we will select the second rectangle and we will select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this. Now we will change the color. We will select the color with the eyedropper tool. Now we will adjust the interactive fill tool. And we will remove the outline. Again we will adjust the interactive fill tool.
Now again we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and now we will draw oval shape like this. Now we will make a copy of this oval shape and we will place like this. Now we select this oval shape and we will right click then we will convert to curves. Now we select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will select this node. Now we will right click and we will break apart. Now we will delete these nodes. Now we will select the pen tool from the toolbar and we will make a shape like this. Now we will select the oval shape and we will do shift page up to get in front. Now we will select this and we will fill color. Now we will select the oval shape and we will select the interactive fill tool and we will apply on the oval shape. Now we will change the color. Now we will select the shapes and we will remove the outline. Now we'll place this. First we will group and then we will place on the banner. We will make a podium with this. Now we will adjust the size. Now we'll make a copy of this shape and we will place like this. Again we will make one more copy and we will place like this. Now we will zoom and we will adjust the position. Now we will remove the outline of the rectangle. Now we select the text tool from the toolbar and we will write the text. First we will write the brand name. We will give a bold look to the text. Now again we will select the text tool and we will write the model number. We are making this banner for mobile. So we will write the mobile model number. Now we will write more text. We will write all the details. Now we'll select the two point line tool from the toolbar and we will draw a straight line like this. I'll give a white color to the line by right click. Now 
will select this line and this text and we will set the align Now we will write the price We will just make a copy and we will edit the text now we will adjust the size of the text now we will adjust the position of this line now we will write more text Now we will write on the right side Now we will write the date and the time of launching. Now we'll select the text and we will grow. Now we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a small square. Now we will give a equal size to the square. Now we will increase the size of the outline and we will give a white color to the outline. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will write the website address. I will place here. Now we will select the board text and we will set the line. I will select the headings and we will set the line.
Now we'll go to the file menu and we will click on the option import. Now we will import the image. We will select the image then import. Now we will draw the image. Now first we will select the ellipse tool and we will draw a oval shape like this. Now we will fill black color in this shape. Now we will go to the effects menu, select the option blur then Gaussian blur. Now we will adjust the size of radius. Now we will select the lighter shade of black. Now we will place the image. Now we will do shift page up. Now we will place the image like this. Now we will select this shadow and we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will increase the size of this and we will place like this. Now we will change the color. Now we will remove the outline and we will make a shape like this. Now again we will go to the effects menu. Now blur then Gaussian blur. Now we will increase the size of radius. Now we will do control face down 3-4 times to sand back to the podium. So guys our web banner design for mobile launching is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comment and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.